Hey guys, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm still going to do a project, but I kind of wanted to do it a little differently than some of my tutorials that I've done in the past. I wanted to do it a little more vlog style, so I'm going to take you along with me from the very beginning of this project all the way to the very end, which is really exciting because I just want to try something different. Sometimes doing the long tutorials where I'm like recording everything and then going back and editing is just um, a little impersonal and I think it'd be fun to take you along with me as I go through this, show you any trials and tribulations that I experience and hopefully successes. So today I'm going to make a, well I'm going to make two um, nightstands to go on either side of my bed and probably for the last I don't know. Actually, since I've moved in with my husband, we've never had matching nightstands. We've had like random tables in here and like random things that we've used to hold our water at night in a random book, but it is time that we get this room organized. We're getting ready to have a baby in February. I'm really trying to get my house in order, and that is definitely one thing that we need. So it's on Pinterest. Um, one day saw a couple, I was actually just looking for inspiration for nightstands. I couldn't decide what I wanted. I was planning to buy nightstands, um, and I just, everything either looked cheap or looked like, um, I don't know. It was either, everything looked more expensive than what I wanted to pay. That was another issue. Um, I really liked the hairpin legs. Like, I'm obsessed with them. I don't want them all over the house. I've seen, like... Um, some kitchen tables with them. It's a little too modern for me, but I really thought with this bed that we have, for, um, this bed is from West Elm. It's kind of like very modern looking, and um, I thought that the hairpin legs would go really well with that. So basically what these are going to be are um, hairpin legs for the base and then a box on top, uh, an open box, so no back for the actual like tabletop of the nightstand. So... Real quick, if you're not sure what uh, hairpins, hairpin legs are, this is a hairpin leg. So it looks like a hairpin, which I love. I think it's really cool. Um, so four of them on one nightstand, and um, I got them on Amazon. They were, for a set of four, they were about $40. I'll link what I, I'll link, I will link the ones I bought below. I had a hard time finding some that were longer um, for a reasonable price, but I think that I got a good deal. So I spent about 80 bucks for the legs and I'm hoping to spend under $20 for the wood. I really don't know what to expect because I'm not really sure what kind of wood I need. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Um, first things first, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you are put on for notifications and that you like this video. And also I'm going to measure this space here. So I'm going to customize these for this space. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the width that I have between these two walls and then I'm going to measure the width of my bed and then I'm going to do some math and I'm going to create some dimensions for this nightstand. Depot right now to get wood, but I've got to stop at Target first. It's calling my name. So I found these little houses. They're only three dollars a piece, and they light up. How cute! Be perfect for my mantle. This jug's only five dollars. And then I had to get this. I'm gonna recreate the greenery in it though. And then a maternity shirt, because I needed one. This might seem kind of backwards, but I um, forgot to figure out how much wood I need. So I'm sitting here, um, I'm gonna draw this out on a Starbucks napkin and um, yeah, <laughs> we'll figure it out before we go into Home Depot. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure um, of the dimensions that I need, but I want to make sure I, I bring home it, uh, enough wood to at least do the minimum. So I'm going to need four 
big panels and two, I'm sorry, four smaller panels. So this is one nightstand and this is the other nightstand. This will be the top, this will be the bottom, this will be one side, the other side, and then the same thing for the other one, top, bottom, side, side. So I figure I want them to be at least 21 inches wide and then about 17 inches deep. So I know I need four panels that are 21 by 17. And then I know that I want it to be at least six inches tall. And then this will need to be 17 inches deep as well. So I'll need four pieces that are six by 17. So Home Depot has these laminated panels um, of wood. And I think what's gonna work for me, I'm gonna need three of them and I'll have a lot left over, but I can't get away with just doing two, would be these ones that are 19 by 48, almost 20 inches by 48. So I also got um, screws to attach the legs. I got number eights, five by eights of an inch, and some washers to go with those two. These shouldn't go all the way through. That's what the guy said, so we'll see. Got them in my car. I was worried about that. I thought I would need my husband's car because his car is a little bit bigger than mine. Well, the trunk is, but they fit mostly because I needed smaller pieces than I thought I did. Um, I was gonna buy some stain while I was in there, but I already have some stain at home. I'm not 100% sure what I have. I think what I have at home might work. I know I don't want anything dark, but I might have to come back because I'm not 100% sure what I have. Side note, these are the little houses I got for my mantle. So cute, right? They um, actually look just like some that um, Joanna Gaines um, put out for Magnolia for Target. They were, I actually saw them at Target. They were like $7 a piece. These were $3 a piece and they light up. However, one of them lights up and the other three need new batteries because I think they were just on display and people were messing with them. But so cute for the mantle and like year round, but I think they'll look cute for fall and for Christmas. I might take them, take them down for the rest of the year, but I think they could be like a year round thing. Safety first. I think he's fogging up the glasses. Okay, so I got a top and a bottom and a side out of one piece. And I have four panels, two sides, measuring it under six inches, just under. I'm trying to decide if I want it to be a little taller. Okay, I think I'm going to stick with that height. The six inches is like plenty. I always make things too big. So. so my cuts aren't perfect, so I'm actually going to sand the edges just to kind of get rid of any blemishes. And then I'm going to glue everything together and then I'm going to screw everything together or nail it together, I haven't decided. Don't forget to wear a dust mask when you sand, like I did. All right, it, I'm back at it today. I'm, I've decided, I've thought about this a lot. I'm not gonna screw these together because the planks are really thin. Um, and when I was sanding on the edges, it split a little bit, so I'm worried about putting a screw through something that's so thin. I'm gonna glue these together with wood glue and then I'm going to use a nail gun and nail them together and hope that that is enough. And then at worst case scenario, I can take it apart and I can try to screw them together, but uh, I think this is the best route to go. So I'm using, what do I have? Tight Bond Original Wood Glue. I'm gonna use a paintbrush and paint it on, and then I'm going to um, set it for like 30 minutes with some pressure against it. And then I'm going to nail it together, and then I'm going to stain it seal it, hopefully have it done today. That's the goal. Um, I feel like this project dragged on a little longer than it should have, for sure. Dumbbells to create 
great pressure on these. This one's been sitting a little longer, so I'm actually going to nail this one first um, before I flip it and glue the other side. Just so everybody knows, only Lowe's sells Min Wax now, and Home Depot, Home Depot sells a brand called Verithane. Um, the lady that works there was super nice at Home Depot, um, explained all that to me. Apparently, Sherwin Williams bought uh, Min Wax. You can only find Min Wax at Lowe's now. She had some swatches of stains. So I looked at all of them and surprisingly, I really liked Golden Oak. It wasn't that golden, and I figured um, worst case scenario, I could mix it with the classic gray. Very yellow. Its name holds up to its reputation. Or its reputation holds up to its name. Let me see what the weathered oak looks like over this golden oak. I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna do a coat of golden oak, and then I'm going to do a coat of weathered oak. Rock on. You got to let it go. All right, so now I've got one stained and one unstained, and I'm really happy with this. This is almost perfect. Um, I did end up doing two coats of the weathered oak over this. Um, over this, I mean. <laughs> just to cool it off a little bit more so it wasn't too warm. Um, so now I just have to stain this, and then we will poly. And I'm using um, Min Wax Poly Curl like Protective Finish in Clear Satin. And I've used this before. I love this stuff. I'll probably do about two coats. Okay, so while the sealer is drying, I went and checked the mail and I got a package from Artifact Uprising. I've done a review on them before. I ordered some prints from them and I was considering doing a flat lay album from them for my wedding photos. I decided to go with a different um, book. It's their hardcover photo album. Um, anyway, I'm really excited to open this. I haven't I just like popped the tape off, but I haven't looked at it and I thought it'd be really fun to open it on camera. Okay, so that was a pretty large box for something kind of small. Um, but it comes in a sleeve, it says, inspired by the disappearing beauty of the tangible. That is beautiful. It's just a little sleeve for it. Uh, side note, this is a gift for my husband. Um, this weekend, we're celebrating our one year anniversary. Honor that which is meaningful. Oh my God! This is it! Megan and Sam. So it came with um, a little sleeve. I got to pick the color of the album that I wanted. I chose a forest green since we got married in the fall. Oh my God, this is amazing. There's my husband, oh my gosh. Um, this is amazing. I had our vowels put in here. Uh, I got to design the whole book myself online and I could not be happier. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. Wonderful. Also, if you remember this vase from Target, I came home put some eucalyptus in it and fell in love with it. It was only $5 and it has that beautiful copper detail on it that I love.
Okay, I'm quickly losing daylight here, so I am just gonna go ahead and put these legs on. Everything's dry. I'm gonna do one more coat of poly on the top after I put the legs on, but um, I'm losing daylight, so I don't wanna work on this tomorrow. I wanna put them as far on the outside as I can without them coming outside of the frame of the box. all set up. So let's go find out. So this is the final product. Um, <laughs> I couldn't be happier with these. They look amazing in here. Um, they came out better than I thought they would. I'm really glad I stained them because I think they just would have been too light had I not. And also, do you recognize that? <laughs> I went ahead and bought like the whole thing. I went, I went back well, I bought the vase when I was at Target the first day, and then I went back this morning and bought the greenery The greenery because I just thought it would look so good on this table. Don't you think? I could have done this project all in one day. I did split it up, but I definitely could have. It's doable in one day, especially if you're just doing one and even if you're doing two. Um, let me know what you guys think about like vlog style projects. I thought it was really fun and it was a lot easier. I'll say that much. Um, and it was just fun to kind of take you guys along and show you the steps without um, being so detail oriented and it, it kind of showing you what it's like to actually real life do something, do a project. Um, and I, hopefully it will encourage you guys to actually go out and do these projects because um, everything I do is really simple. I really don't think that any of the projects that I've done are complicated and it just takes time a lot of times and commitment and yeah. So anyway, let me know what you guys think and I will see you on my next project. Bye.